Good morning, it's Rhonda White from HerChristianHome.com and this is the um, week that I share a book with you that we've been reading on. Um, this, I say we, we this time because this is one that I've been reading with my boys. And this one is on character and this is book number one and my, my pastor has book number two and I'm going to borrow book number two from him when we're finished with this one and character is very important to teach to our young people because um, it seems to be lacking in our society you know um, it's kind of like we live in the moment if we feel like doing something we do it if we don't feel like doing it we don't do it but character allows us to do right even when we don't feel like doing it it allows us to make choices not compared to um, what we want but what's right and so this gives us a godly perspective on character and so that's why I really like this book and I highly re recommend it it's by Jeff Owens and then I like this his little um his little excerpt in the in the be beginning here it says let me put on my reading glasses the saddest thought that I have as I prepare this book on character is that the average person who will begin to read it will not even have the character to read it all the way to the end. I hope that I am not describing you with this statement, Dr. Jeff Owens. So I thought that was kind of funny in there. So we are officially over halfway through. I have it bookmarked. We're on page 135 and I've really been enjoying it. And so I was going to read this one, and I haven't actually read this uh, section I'm reading with you this morning yet. I just It just caught my eye this morning. It's called The Critic's Cure. And um, these, these days, it, it seems like people think it's cool to be, uh, just say whatever comes to your mind or to criticize. And, and there's a time to maybe criticize what's wrong but um, we, we still need to be careful with our words and, and what we criticize and how we criticize. And um, I'm just going to read this part with you. I'm a little bit under the weather today, so I, I am trying to, <laughs> trying to keep the flow of my speech going. But um, we've had flu in our house, and my son uh, was very sick yesterday with it, and I kind of got it in the middle of the night. So I'm trying to carry on here, but I wanted to uh, go ahead and share this with you today. It says, The Critic's Cure. The Bible gives several ways to fight being a critic. If a person has trouble with his tongue in the areas of criticism, he ought to enjoy these five steps daily. Number one. Avoid other critics. In Romans 16, verse 17, the Bible says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrines which ye have learned, and avoid them. Stay away from people who you know will put you down and cause you to say things you ought not to say. It's kind of like one of those things, if you... If you if you hang around uh, complainers, the next thing you know, you'll find yourself complaining. So the first thing, if you have a problem with criticism, is saying don't be hanging around other people that are critics, that like to criticize everything. It could be that the reason you're having the problem is maybe you're hanging around those type of people. So uh, ch change your friends if necessary. Number two, talk right. Psalms 19 verse 14 says, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Have you heard the old saying, If you can't say anything good, don't say it at all? Go by it. So I like that thought. Uh, we need to remember, start thinking before we speak. Is this going to edify the, the person that's hearing what I'm saying? Or is it going to bring them down? Um, everybody's going through hard times. So just one criticism that you may give somebody, unnecessary criticism, 
um, may bring them down and just totally destroy their day. Maybe they've really been struggling and you could have been a blessing and encouragement to them for, for this day, but instead you brought them to their lowest point. All right, number three, confess your sin of criticism to God. First John 1, 9 teaches, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Ask God to give you, uh, to get, to forgive you for each instance of criticism. Ask forgiveness for giving a critical report. All right. So we need to confess our sins. And sometimes maybe we haven't even realized when we criticize somebody, maybe we haven't even realized that we just sinned. We just thought we're just given our, our thoughts of what we think at the moment. And again, there are times in life where we may have to share some criticism, you know, about something that's wrong. But I'm just talking in general. Um, we can often be uh, critical about everything or at the uh, wrong times or things, times that we should keep the thoughts to ourselves and shouldn't be saying that. Number four, memorize scripture about criticism. And this, I think, is a very, very important part is to memorize scripture. Because when we memorize scripture, the Holy Spirit brings that to our thoughts, that verse, and will help us to avoid sin in the, in the moment when we're tempted to do or say something that we shouldn't do. So it says in Psalms 119 verse 11, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Do a Bible study on controlling your mouth to help, help in your thought life. For out of the abundance of your heart, the mouth speaketh. Matthew 12 verse 34b. And then number five. Ask God to help you. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ with strength, which strengtheneth me. Philippians 4.13. So one of the surest ways not to have character is to refuse to control your tongue. God will never be able to use you like he wants to use you until you cease to be a critic or a gossip. No person wants to spend his life being lonely, unable to comprehend wisdom, having God's judgment on his life, and having a lack of God's blessings. So again, this book is on character by Jeff Owens. I'll try to, if I can find it online, I will put a link to it below this video. And so um, if you have teen, teens, um, this is especially good for the, uh, teenagers and um I'm, like I said, I'm reading this with my boys. All right. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening. God bless you and your family.